Hey guys, Sarah Bowman here. Today I want to show you how to create these dragon or serpent eyes in Photoshop. Now Kimberly Margarita ended up doing this dragon look for Wet n Wild and in the end I decided on actually changing the eyes to look more like a serpent creature too, just to fit the whole look that we were going for. And I will show you how I did that. All right, let's get to it. First thing that I'm going to do is select around the iris here and make a new layer via copy. And now we have this new layer that is just the iris. Next, I'm going to actually basically make the iris cover the entire sclera. So let us free transform it and just enlarge it. And it might be helpful to layer or lower the opacity so you can see the layer underneath of it. Perfect. Also, now that it's a bit bigger, we can also erase the sclera part. So let's just get rid of that. I'm just gonna do it right now via the um, layer mask. Okay, that's good enough for now. Let's apply the layer mask and go back to transforming it. Because dragons or other serpent creature things, um, actually cats too, often have the iris covering the entire area that's showing. And also to make this easier, since I'll be using this anyways later on, I'm going to add a curves layer and brighten up that iris. You can press um, Alter Option and then click right there and that will apply it to just the layer underneath of it. And I'll actually make that a group because, um, oh, not like that. Because I will be adding to it. So it's much better and it makes it a lot easier to see what we're doing. So now we obviously need to erase where the eye would be actually underneath. And I think I realize, I think I want to do the layer mask on the group since I'll be adding to the group anyways. So let's paint with black where we do not want it to show. Don't worry, I'm gonna fix that in just a second. I just wanted to see exactly where um, the eyelid was. And you can press X and that will sh switch the black and white that you've got selected. Cool, it's working. And maybe a little bit more right there. I might even just actually use the clone stamp tool. You don't have to do this, but I mean, you could just enlarge it a bit more, but sometimes I find that that's just a bit easier. Okay, cool. What you can do is um, when you have that eye selected, press Command J and that will duplicate the layer. And then we can move that on over here. Perfect. See, I think that looks much better. Okay, and then paint on the areas that we don't want that eye peeking through. One thing you do have to be aware of is the um, softness of your brush. You do kind of want to make sure it matches the softness of the edges. Depends on how your picture looks and the sharpness of it. So that will definitely make a difference too. But we can always fine tune it in a bit as well. So we've got these serpent eyes. Right now, they look okay. They're not perfect though quite yet. So what I'm gonna do is, since the entire eye wouldn't naturally be that light, even though I do want them to be lighter, um, it wouldn't necessarily be that light through the entire iris. So, 
For instance, let's select the um, brightness layer that we have. What we want to do is paint very low hardness, low opacity. We want some control. And we're going to paint with black underneath where the eyelashes are because they would naturally cast a nice shadow. Uh, and another thing I want to do is also enhance the color of her eye. And since she already has like this gold tone to her, the rest of the image, I'm just going to add some saturation since she already has those yellows. Perfect. Remember, you want to make sure it looks natural. You don't want it to look um, corny. So you have to be careful. So I think that that looks about, about right to me. And so, let's see how that's looking. Do we like the brightness? We could probably darken it a bit. I might even actually darken it around the edges of the bottom as well. I'm sorry guys, my cat is really wanting to play with me and he's getting mad that I'm busy. <laughs> Miguel. You probably can't see him, but he's pacing around and making noise. All right, so now, now when we think of serpent eyes or snake eyes, normally they actually have a slit for a pupil. So we're also going to add that too. And to do that, it is extremely easy. We're just going to create a curves adjustment layer in that group that we have and lower that um, exposure quite a bit. And then the command I to invert it. And then we're going to paint where we want it to show. Cool. Do the same to the other one. Gosh, Miguel, he's knocking stuff over. Buddy, and now you're getting in front of the camera. Miguel, come on, buddy. Come on. You can sit over here if you want. Come on. Come on, buddy. <laughs> come on. There we go. You just want to be included. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, but don't bug her, okay? It's okay, pet. <laughs> you good? Okay. Okay, I think we're good. The cats are happy. Okay, back to this. So we're painting on our curves adjustment layer to create these slits in the eye. And let's make sure our eyes match. One more thing that I think I might change is get rid of that roundness of the original pupil there. And I'm going to do that by um, using my clone stamp tool. And same to the other eye. Make sure you have the correct layer selected. <laughs> it's so funny. I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to go in just to um, maybe tweak it a bit to make it look more realistic around the edges here. Lower the opacity. So I'm just painting on the grouped layer, getting rid of some of the parts that I don't feel like add anything. So I'll just quickly show you the before and after. So that is her, that's Kimberly's normal eyes. And then after we turned her into a dragon, that would be these eyes. And that's how I create serpent eyes in Photoshop. So that's all I've got for today, guys. If you do want to add me on Instagram, I'm at Sarah Bowen Photography. Otherwise, thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye. If you would like to support me in my 
photography endeavors, you can add me on Patreon. You'll have access to some exclusive stuff. And anyone that gives me $5 or more per month will be mentioned in my YouTube videos. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to. And I think you click on the bell or something like that to get notifications. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye. You're so pretty.